Okay, so this will be the last problem of the introduction and then we'll start formula with our uh, theme. Uh, well, we have a boy that's just like whirling up a ball on a string and we get a radius. It's gonna be 0 0.8 meters. Uh -huh. And we know the uh, centripetal acceleration. It's gonna be the gravity and it's gonna be 9.81 meters over second squared. Okay, so from there, we need to know the revolutions per minute that that thing does. So that's actually going to be very easy. So from there, uh, we know the radius acceleration. So we know we can use this formula that says that the uh, centripetal acceleration is equal to the velocity squared over the radius. So that's the first thing and only thing we can, we can work for now. So the velocity is going to be, the velocity is going to be like the square root of uh, the acceleration times the radius and that's going to be the square root of 9.81 times 0 0.8 uh -huh. and that is going to be 2.80 meters over second okay from there we can go to the next formula and the second one and only formula we just know by now that's just like this one that says that uh, the velocity is equal to 2 pi r over uh, gravity and uh well we just have to find uh d, 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 d. no gravity no period sorry i don't know why screw all with that it's period that's why I, well, I always get confused sorry for that um here it's a period okay but let's don't forget that that thing all the time is just like um 2 pi r times the frequency and whenever we're asked revolutions per minute, this thing over here is a frequency. Okay, um, here, this thing is a frequency. Okay, so we can just solve it for f. Okay, so let's go. And this will be f is going to be equal to uh, velocity over uh, 2 pi r. And that's going to be uh, 2.80. Over uh, 2 times pi times 0 0.8, and that's going to be uh, 1 point. No, sorry for that. Uh, da -da -da -dum. Just let me make that up. Uh, that's 2.80 over 2 pi times 0.8, that's 0.55. revolutions per minute per second sorry okay now we can we want to know that in revolutions per minute so uh, we just need to transform it and uh, well 0 0.55 revolutions per second we know that 60 seconds create one minute and we just multiply it times 60 and we're going to have uh, 33.43 um, revolutions per minute and this is our result over here 